Hi everyone, Brett here from Metropole, and isn't there a lot of hype and a lot of information going around with the work from home phenomenon? Um, you only have to pick up a paper or look at the media and there's a, always an article or a headline relating to the amount of people choosing and having that flexible lifestyle now. And certainly due to the COVID, I think it's brought a lot of things forward for, for the individual understanding that there's some flexibility and maybe some really positives in working from home. And I think also the employees are rethinking things um, how they treat their staff, the options that are available to them. And I, I see it as a real positive. I think the ability um, to have that flexibility and offer uh, you know, your employees those kinds of options are great. There's also a lot of question around how these people are going to choose to live. And I think that's one thing that I strongly disagree with. I don't think people are all of a sudden going to move to the seaside towns, the rural and, and, uh, and regional areas that, that many are predicting. It's just not going to happen. We saw the sea change and the tree change phenomenon years ago that never really impacted and eventuated property prices, and this will not do the same. Um, for the simple fact of it's a minority trend, and what I mean by that is ABS have come out and suggested there's around a third of people in our workforce that work from home, and the room to grow there is quite low. So uh, a study done overseas uh, suggests uh, in Chicago and also Norway that only really around 37% of jobs in these types of economies can realistically be done remotely or from home. And while that trend will continue, it's not a huge jump. It's 30 to 37% in the current environment. That's not enough to uh, change the figures in these towns. There's a huge amount of supply in those seaside and, and regional towns and rural towns. So the demand is not going to affect property prices too much. And that's also suggesting that people will move to those areas. Generally, people are going to stay put because it's not just the employment and the flexibility they like. They like their school zones. They like their kids getting into the right schools and locations. They like public transport. Their strong lifestyle precincts and all those kinds of things that are in high demand are not just going to continue and people aren't just going to move away from our capital city. So my advice is for if you are an investor, stick with majority trends. The majority of people are always going to gather and group around our um, our biggest CBDs, where there's less availability of land, there's more demand, and a minority trend is not going to change that. So focus on the long term, stick to the majority, and your investments will be far superior than if you stick to those, uh, those I guess, flash-in-the-pan trends. Thanks for watching.